We're reacting to angry cops. Let's hop into the video. All right, look like Israel did some special ops to attack somebody. So let's dive in. Breaking down by Warning. angry cops. Images and video have been let's edited go. to censor and remove offensive material to include violence. Yes, YouTube, oh Lord. This video well, is for I'm that sure reason. you've seen the memes. I know I have. And heard the news that right? Hezbollah is having a little bit of a communications issue right now. Can you oh, why? And the 1990s have called because the beepers that they got. Yep, people are using beepers and pagers what? in Hezbollah. Well, they're getting a little hot. So hot that they're exploding in people's pants and hands and by their faces. And right now, the number of those what? injured are surpassing 2,800. So huh? significant. But how did we get here? How do we get to this end result of this, I would say, largest successful clandestine operation against a terrorist organization? Well, don't I beg worry, your pardon? you got me here for because in this video... We're going to break down what started this entire thing and the planning that went behind it. How so do we still use pagers in 2024? Like, I get it that, you know, terrorist groups, they have limited resources, but pagers, my boy, they still make them? I might go find out. How it was put it's into like some nice, effect. Some of the 90s some kids of this type is shit. Be you know what I'm saying? Maybe the 80s. Sizing because not all the information's come out yet. Then the actual operation in and of itself where the okay. kinetic actions were happening. The pals, right. the booms, the zings, the zangs. And then we'll all clean that up very nicely with the aftermath of what we're figuring out now, what this could right. mean in the future. And in case you skip the disclaimer, yes, I might have made sure that this video is YouTube safe and took out all the gore and no blood and Aww, none of the negativity boo. stuff that would make kidding. me demonetized. <laughs> but there are going to be some implications. Right. Before we get any further, first, some memes, right? To fill in the, you know. Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh is here. Hey, get your money, AC. Hello Fresh is some good food, apparently. All right, let's okay. get it. I'm talking 2022. Okay, part you see one. The leader of Hezbollah, this uh, guy with the beard and the funny hat, he put out to his right? minions, his little subordinates in Hezbollah there. Hey, gang, listen. All of you need to get off the cell phones, throw them in a box, dig them in the dirt, and bury them because the Israelis. Are looking into stuff like that. All right, technology Ooh, and things. Oh, I see we where need they're to going cut there. It out. Don't let them track us. And so everybody does. They move to a lower level technology that they thought would be somewhat impenetrable. The beeper. And that all. I mean, we have that technology for the last <laughs> many, like 30, 40 years. I don't know if this will make them. Y'all let me know in the comment section if this will make pagers. Also evolved into using encrypted communications or encrypted radios. Those will come up later. Okay, okay. Me. And now this blast out to the masses, well, it wasn't exactly private, and the Israeli intelligence unit called Mossad, they've done some incredible things, and they're oh. going to continue to do some. Well, they found out and decided they would start planning. All the way back to 2022, Mossad had already purchased a couple beepers and put a little bit of spicy powder in those things. Not talking what? about your booger sugar. I'm talking hey, about the what do you mean by that? Skaboom kind of powder. Give right? it a couple trial runs. And honestly, looking back into a certain helicopter crash with an Iranian official, I'm wondering if right. a run through wasn't already done. I did an angry meme review on it, but yes, this guy that. ended up dying in a helicopter accident. And nobody really knows why. Well, there happens got a to pager. be a pager, a beeper right there on the table oh, right next to shit. him. Wouldn't it be strange? It would be strange, but it would be hilarious as hell that a pager took down a helicopter with a lot of boom. If a radio crazy, crazy. or beeper that had some high explosive in it were detonated while he was flying in a helicopter, it's kind of just a one-way flight down if something bad happens. Right. Some would say that's foreshadowing. And the business. Get out of here, Count Dankula. Now, that's what <laughs> I like to call the planning stages, all right? We heard something happen. We got ready for it. We did a little test trial, potentially. Right. right. Dry run. Not so dry on that Iranian guy. Boom. Now it's time to put this plan in action. Phase two. Phase two. Let's get now, it. After reading about three hours worth of articles, I found that this is the best concentrated version of how Israel put their plans into place. With okay, Israel okay. already knowing that Hezbollah is going to need a lot of beepers, they create two shell companies that somehow, and this is still unknown, interact with the Apollo Gold Beeper Company and its shipping center in Hungary so that while in transport between these two places, right. the original creation 
and the transportation hub. They're able to take apart over 5,000 beepers that were ordered. That's diabolical, but also genius at the same time. I guess people still do use beepers over there. Yo, big brain. At a minimum. Fill them up with a high explosive near right. the battery compartment. So when they hit their whoop, red button of uh-oh, it'll send off a signal. The Boom. individual will pick it up and look at it. And then it will detonate. Cacao. And Damn. as of right now, Apollo Gold and that Hungarian company, it's BAC something, are blaming each other and saying, we didn't do either one of these things. It had to be the other guy. Right, hey. right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but what I find the most impressive is that the Hezbollah agents were actually delivered all of these intentionally faulty booby trapped beepers. Right. And I don't know who ordered these beepers or their radios, but the radios that Hezbollah ordered are no longer manufactured. Red what? flag there. Let me break that down for you. The icon radios that the Hezbollah agents, provocateurs, dudes, whatever you want to call them, were using. Right is an older model that ICOM doesn't make anymore and hasn't made for some time. So these were knockoff ICOMs that they must have bought in bulk from like some guy. Imagine they bought this shit off Timu. <laughs> it's ICOM, go get a Timu and get $10 off. You buy five more things. Freaking Timu. They're selling it on eBay. So for those of you having a difficult oh, time got grasping it from eBay. it, oh, it would be funny if they got it from Imagine going on eBay and buying a brand new Pokemon Yellow yes. Game Boy game, right? Yo, you know I need that one of that those. thing is a knockoff. It's for five dollars. If it yep. was an original Pokemon Yellow game cartridge for a Game Boy, shit's like I don't know, five hundred bucks. I have no idea. I, a, I have no a grand. Idea. Or but you so. get what I'm saying. You know it's a knockoff. How is this Hezbollah group guy, the quartermaster of Hezbollah, not right. knowing Icon Radios? Okay, they're like twenty years old, fifteen years old. Oh, look, such great deal. They say brand new. No red flags <laughs> here. Look, look. You guys there? Pow. You can pack enough explosives in a handheld radio to bring down a helicopter. I'm oh. Gonna keep it. I think that, oh. I think that happened. Oh. So now that we have the amount of information put out by the head of Hezbollah, to pull right. quartermaster ordering and some ingenuity on behalf of the Israelis, we now have the perfect plan set up for Operation Beeper. Now let's get operation into the execution beeper of the is operation. wow. Ooh, execution is probably a very appropriate word. I mean it is. I mean AC was a lie. Call it what it is. <laughs> Wednesday, September 18th, 2024. 24. Random small explosions are happening all throughout Lebanon injuring people. Damn. People's pants are oh. exploding. People's backpacks are exploding. Oh. People are showing up to the hospital with their fingers gone. Their faces oh. bloody. Chunks of their stomach removed oh! and their legs like bleeding profusely. What oh! is going on? Well, Operation Beeper is well into effect and everybody's beepers are going off, sending them a notification saying, hey, Hezbollah guy. Hey. Somebody from Hezbollah wants to talk to you. And Hezbollah Ooh. guy hears that beep, picks up the beeper, looks at the notification. Damn. Cow, hand, Damn. face, no longer an issue. <laughs> there but things of the past that now. is fuck that is fuck but it's so awesome but it's fuck but it's so awesome at the same time Problems oh my god solved. and in the first day the low numbers were saying 1200 people were affected that's just wednesday because thursday the oh. day after a whole bunch of radios start blowing up all over the place and like we've Yo. already seen beepers a little smaller handheld radios a lot bigger Ooh. meaning you can put a lot more bang for your buck and then their handheld radios. And over the course of these two days, we're getting a whole bunch of videos. People shopping, putting the beer down at a table while they're at the register, and it's ba boom, blowing up. Which All I right. think is one of the most important videos that you can see because it shows you the small amount of explosive inside that beeper and how effective. Damn, that's it very is. effective. The amount holy of power shit. stored in the explosive. Bro, holy shit. That reminds me of one time I went to the uh, demo range when I was in AIT school to learn any, any night Bravo how to do demo, like a little small demo class. A small explosive set a fucking smoke grenade sky high, which is absolutely insane. That's inside of that Just think about it. Is significant. And you see it in this security camera footage from the store when it detonates oh. while it's sitting on top of the counter. But there's more. There's photos of a guy on a moped and his whole freaking side is blown up. Looks like Damn. somebody took a shotgun to his freaking butt cheek because half of that thing is missing. There are people in hospitals that are 
clogging up emergency rooms with fingers missing, hands all torn oh apart, and gloves, faces smattered with freaking shrapnel and bloody. Only 12 people have lost their lives over the past two days. Wow. But that number could rise. Over 500 people have lost their eyesight. And oddly enough, they're taking a lot of them and putting them on a plane and sending them to Iran <laughs> so they can get more medical treatment. Right. Oh, doing that. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. Iran funnels money into Hezbollah. It's like their own private, but not private. Do military. your own thing. Yeah. Like ghost hand of their military to go terrorize Israel and whoever else they want. Yeah. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Wait, now, part radios four? and beepers aren't the only thing that's blowing up. No, there's a couple of fingerprint devices, like fingerprint scanners to get into buildings, fingerprint locks. I don't know what you would call them, but. Biomax. But anyway. Pretty much. Finger scanning into buildings, these security measures have also detonated, and so have some solar panels. Huh? I really don't know what the hell's going on here with that, but this leads me to a bigger question that I think is super important. Was Israel, Mossad, I'm assuming, able to get information from those beepers? If you already have the technology inside the beeper to send a signal for it to detonate, could right. you not also have it? forward the information that was sent originally to that beeper so head guy in charge of hezbollah sends out the beeper message to his boy he gets it down here looks at right. it says roger that i'll do that but simultaneously it boop, redirects a mirror image of whatever that hezbollah agent i got to israel so it's a very good question any technology guys come down below tell me if it's true or not they can be like i'm not oh, i'm hey, not smart enough for that at low the key pizza that's one of gosh you know what they really want to kill us but their food is amazing isn't it just see like oh, a bunch of guys is. trying to have a good time and what about those radios were they able to listen to them in real time and start determining where guys are what missions are going to take place where they're hiding missile locations when they're going to get bombed so they can have their defenses up and ready this damn that's crazy he's giving me everything and what about the bio information <laughs> in that fingerprint scanner locking my bob do 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 security measurement right before that thing exploded what if it just took every single fingerprint and a photo of the person there and just that's confirmed, wow yep this guy's a hezbollah agent oh this guy's a hezbollah agent oh, go get him boys works for hezbollah. like let's go jump and now they've got an saying? entire catalog of people that thumbprint scanned into the building identified right. them as hezbollah agents hezbollah and send the boys knocking you're in trouble we're kind of already getting to the aftermath by talking about what information could have been shared or duplicated and sent to israel from these beepers and handhelds right, right. and thumb scanning devices so let's get right into the aftermath the aftermath is the that aftermath. Israel has taken Ooh. thousands of people out of a potential fight. The plan is brilliant. Right. Hezbollah's buying these beepers so that only Hezbollah agents can talk to one another and intentionally not get tracked by Israel. So right. Israel messes with those beepers, which are then handed out to Hezbollah agents and Hezbollah agents only. Because guess who's getting the beep of, hey, <laughs> go F up Israel. Hezbollah okay. agents. So besides all the bio information that you get from thumb scanners and the information that could have been relayed back to Israel, everybody injured on the 18th and 19th of September in Lebanon from explosive injuries. You could just check in and see who was brought in that day from those explosive injuries and go, oh, Hezbollah agent, Hezbollah yep. agent, Hezbollah yep. agent. And now that person's got a name. But I wonder if any civilians got hurt in the process because I'd be kind of fucked. Like, yeah, it's a good idea on paper but what about the casualties like let's say that person next to a civilian he just opened up his pager and yeah it probably they probably have the explosive to go directly towards them and not like everybody else behind them but who knows right name and a face on a watch list well maybe not a face anymore because holy crap let's talk about how brilliant it is to have it in a beeper what do you do when your phone rings oh who just messaged me oh oh my god that's a jump scare good right like that that was a jump scare like, what the the hell? goes off you take it out of your pocket you unclip it from your belt Boom. even if you don't bring it up fast enough it's putting holes in people's stomachs and their legs or ripping off their hands and right. fingers and best part is if they get it up in time to say what shalom kaboom it's kaboom. taking out your eyesight like i said an effective tool out of the 2800 plus that are injured from these explosions over 500 have lost their eyesight that Listen, is wild. Your That's a wild stat, There's Loki. no way you're going to be in the game in a battle, which could potentially mean that 
there could be a military push into Lebanon or an attack more right. strategic against Hezbollah by Israel in the upcoming days. Now, you remember how I said that Hezbollah is kind of a ghost hand of Iran. Yes. Iran funds Hezbollah to do their bidding, whatever they kind of want to do. As long as it's <laughs> up what they want fuck <laughs> and jacking with Israel, Iran's going to toss Hezbollah money. And we already know that. It's not a secret, but we don't know exactly who, or at least it's not been super publicized. Allegedly. The direct chain of command from the Hezbollah minions to the higher-ups to then the main, main person, person that could yep. be talking with Iran. Well, I think we found out a significant chunk today because the what? Iranian ambassador to Lebanon, well, he just so happened to have a beeper that exploded. Wow. So now we have a Ooh. proven direct connection uh -oh. to Iran. Hezbollah hanging out. Doing with Iran. In Lebanon. Nice. Top of the chain of command is Iran's ambassador to Lebanon. And when nice. he travels back and forth to Lebanon, to Iran, to Lebanon, to Iran, I'm sure he's oh. got a wealth of information that he's passing on between those two heads of, hey, Iran, we need some money for these things. Look at what these guys are doing. And hey, Hezbollah guys, guess what Iran wants you to do? If you want this money, you're going to do that, right? Oh, and you've got more information about what's going on down there in Israel based on your shenanigans? Right. Great, I'll pass it on to the big guy. See ya. <laughs> With how overwhelmed the hospitals currently are, because of this mass casualty, I would be very surprised if Israel didn't push further into Lebanon or send out some sort of special operations strike, whether it be artillery or drone or aircraft, missiles, you name it. Yep. It would surprise me. Because at the moment, they've really got Hezbollah and Lebanon on its heels trying to react to this. Now, if you want to see the uncensored version of this, where there's a Pepper lot more Doc blood TV. and gore, and I go a little bit more in-depth into this, check out Pepperbox. I got the link I down recommend. there below. I'll always be posting stuff on here for free as long as YouTube will let me. But the uncensored, more gritty version with a little bit of extra material is always going to be on Pepperbox. Best way to support the channel is get yourself it's a shirt. It's by subscribing and buying a shirt. Got a new shirt, Army Strong. I just Everybody drunk. knows that video that I made about moving sandbags. Pedro's oh, going, God. Are you doing? What am I doing? I'm moving sandbags 15 feet that way. That's what I'm doing. Why? Yes. It doesn't look like I know. Well, exactly. Yep. To go with Classic it. video. Army Strong. Moving sandbags from here to there and back again. Yep. Cheapest way to support the channel is leave a comment. What do you guys think about what's going on? I am waiting for this to be made into a movie. I want all the information about what happened. Here <laughs> a movie? That'd be crazy. The coolest operation i think i've ever heard of in in a minute just it's been a while espionage and moving things around and spying on guys and then so many people out of the fight wow super effective very interesting. very effective okay see you next time subscribe subscribe see you next subscribe time, subscribe <laughs> all right if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like comment say subscribe i'll leave the video beeper. down below operation, operation beeper. justin beeper no, no, AC, oh, not just that, pun, that was bad. That pun was bad. Especially when everything going on with, you know what, I'm not going to say that. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out Angry Cop. His link will be down below to the original video, and I'll see y'all guys in the next one.